Hey, I'm Cyclone, and today I want to share with you two things. First, a slight upgrade on my previous league's crafting guide for everything from my lightning arrow into tornado shot, dead eye, build guide, utilizing omniscience. And the second thing is going to be a very big trade folder that contains every unique that you want early, as well as the chase uniques for a little bit later. And all the different either finished crafted items or fractured bases for the items. Now we get to that in a bit, but first the update on the crafting. There are two changes, one small and one really big one. The small one is, as there are no more helmet enchantments, you no longer need to start with the enchanted helmet bases. Instead we can use a fractured basis for the helmet too now. Personally, I will recommend to utilize a Chaos Wrath fracture or a Spell Suppression fracture. If you do not intend to use a Progenesis on your build, the Chaos Rest Fracture becomes significantly more interesting, as this will help you get your Chaos Rest capped. If you plan to use a, uh, a, a Progenesis, this will give you a lot of Chaos Rest. So instead of that, I will recommend to use a Spell Suppression Fracture, as this will make the helmet easier and you can go for any other suffixes that help you build like stats, resistances or whatever you prefer. By guaranteeing Spell Suppression is already on it when you use the Preservation Efficiency Low Essence of Loathing. Now that's the helmet. The second thing, the bow. I need to apologize, when I was making the video for the suffixes, I somehow was locked in the thought of making the best suffixes possible. Since then, I, a lot of people have called me out for that. I, it would have been way cheaper to use either Iceling or Unveiled. So today I'm going to show you the best and cheapest way to make your bow. We're going to be starting with a fractured basis. Now, this basis has to be on a spine, ivory, or bone bow base. All three bows have a six point. Let me actually just zoom in so it's actually visible on my on the street on the video. All of these will have a 6.5 crit chance and 1.4 attack speed. So bone bow 1.4, 6.5, ivory 6.5, 1.4 and spine 6.5 crit 1.4 attack speed. All of these are going to be a case. The difference is that they're going to have different flat physicals, but we don't care about the physical damage. We then are going to go on trade. You can use the trade folder for this. And we're going to be looking for one of these bases with a T2 fire fracture or a T2 lightning fracture. We're going to be looking for the cheapest one. In this case, example would be a 10 divines, a spine bow. At league start, they're not going to be all a 10 divines. If I remember correctly, I got mine for, I think it was four divines. But I could be wrong. It could have been five. I, I don't remember anymore. I do apologize. But I got mine fairly cheaply at middle of week one. Once we have that T2 fractured basis, we're going to be going for essence crafting. I'm going to zoom out a bit here again. So we're going to be taking our bases that are as guaranteed fire or guaranteed lightning. If it has guaranteed fire, we're going to be using Essence of Wrath, with preferable deafening. If you cannot afford deafening, you're going to be using T2, which are screeching, I think. And if you have a fractured lightning, you're going to be using Essence of Anger to get fire. Now, this T1 Essence mod is slightly better than T2 and slightly worse than T1. So it's going to be a pseudo T1 modifier. So we're going to spam this essence until we hit T2 cold damage. Now this T2 cold damage combined with the T2 fracture and our pseudo T1 essence is going to be a really powerful bow. To finish this bow now, however, what we need to do is going to be craft prefix can be changed. So we need one open suffix and we're going to hit unveiled chaos. Now the likelihood of this one hitting more than one suffix is very low. Most of the time we will have one suffix. If I think a hundred people are going to try this, one or two people will get a second suffix. Let me let me try here. Uh, we'll get the third suffix. Second suffixes are even rare. rare. So you can see I keep get, just getting one. It's one again, one again. There we got a T2. And that's not even a bad T2. Sometimes you can get a good T2. The only moment it breaks, if you get, uh, well breaks is if you get three suffixes and your unveil bricks as, as well. But most likely you're gonna get one or at least two and you're gonna be fine. So what we're gonna be doing after we hit the veiled suffix, we're gonna be crafting 
damage per frenzy, damage per endurance or damage per power charge. These three block each other so that make it more likely to get the desired unveil outcome, which is gonna be strength and intelligence with crit chance or or it would have been so cool if it would have shot the other. It's dexterity and intelligence and attack speed. Crit chance, attack speed are is, crit chance is slightly preferred over attack speed. Now there is the off chance that you're not getting either of those two. If you get attack speed and chance to trigger blood rage, that's still gonna be okay enough. But we do prefer either of those two and crafting the other one as a flat stat. So if you had dex, uh, strength and crit chance, you're gonna craft attack speed. If you hit dex and attack speed, you're gonna be crafting crit chance. Once you have that, you're gonna be done with the bow. In the off chance that you don't get it, like I would have gotten in this case if I if I didn't got any of these to offer it. I'm going to be crafting prefixes can't be changed again and going to hit another veiled chaos. I'm going to be crafting my damage per charge again and going to hit unveil again and in this case I again would have bricked. I'm going to repeat the process until I finish. Now of course this process will always take two divines. You need to save up enough so you can break once or twice but in my experience in game I always hit it at latest on the third try. And this will be this bow, if we craft a tech speed, is gonna carry you through the rest of your mapping. You only need to upgrade this once you hit either want to go for a fractured plus two bow or you want to go for a mirror tier bow. So this one is really, really strong. Now, the second part. I have prepared, can I zoom in here too? Perfect. I have prepared a list that contains early leveling uniques, that contains the uniques we want to use early, like a poised prisms or the taming, shadow dust with corrupted, even omniscience where we want specific roles, and our late game chase items like a mage blood or a progenesis with good duration, as well as either finished items, for example, a good, a really good quiver with open suffix, or the fractured bases to start crafting them on ourselves. So if you prefer to buy a finished product or you don't understand the crafting process for something, you can buy the finished product or you can buy the fracture base and craft it yourself. This also includes the updated fracture base for the helmet where I have offered both fractured bases, chaos rest and spell suppression in case you don't want to go for chaos rest as well on the helmet, getting the spell suppression fracture will be better. All that being said, if there are any questions for this, if you have any questions overall for the just any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section or you can join my Discord on the designated channel, which by the way, of course, also includes the import. By the way, I do need to mention this import is for better trading only. It will not work with the TFT import. I've been using better trading for my um, for my trade folders, so you will have to use that for this as well. This includes everything I've shown you here. I have pinned it to the channel as well, so if you have questions, feel free to also ask them in the build discussion channel if they are about build related. All that being said, have a wonderful day, and I will see you either on my next video, or I will see you live on Twitch at League Launch.